Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525 here, back with another drawing video. Today's video, we're going to be drawing Phantom from Minecraft. Um, this little pterodactyl looking thing. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I'm, I've never played Minecraft, so I'm unfamiliar with all the creatures and enemies and characters in the game. So please forgive me, but we're drawing Phantom. It looks like this uh, bird creature. And this video was requested by... Um, I'm, I'm going to like butcher your name, so I'm just going to spell it out. Uh, first name, T-A-M-U-N-A. -A. Second, or last name is B-A-K-R-A-D-Z-E. Thank you so much for your request. I would try to pronounce your name, but I would, I would massively butcher that. So uh, I'll spell it out. But thank you so much for the request. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, drawing Phantom here. Not too hard. Again, just kind of basic shapes. Kind of all the Minecraft characters aren't too bad. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, get your pencils ready and um, let's jump in. Alright, guys. So to start off drawing Phantom here, what we're going to want to do is draw a nice little square. Or kind of like more like a rectangle. It's more of a rectangle. Kind of like this. So you get a nice rectangle like that. I'll zoom in a little bit. And then basically we're going to give it a little bit of depth. So the way to do that is on each corner we're going to just draw a line going down. Following kind of the same pitch like this. And then we're going to draw a line connecting them like that. So we should get like a 3D like cube here. And just to finish off his face real quick. Uh, what you're going to want to do is draw another kind of like rectangle going off the side here like that and then you're gonna get another one going off the side here like this and then you're just gonna get a line right in the middle here like that so it's pretty much it for his head now what we could do is draw in his body so his body is gonna be kinda of going off this shape and basically we're gonna get another long rectangle going down so we're gonna start here and then we'll start about here going down like that and then we'll connect it in like this, curve it up, and then do another one here. And then draw this line going down like this, and then across. So this is his body, and his like detail for his body, we're going to start about here and draw a line going up. Down, when you get to kind of the middle, go up, over, and then up, like that. And now here we're going to draw a line that hugs this line, just like that. And then where it hits here, we're just going to follow kind of like these uh, lines right here and push it back like that. And now we can draw in his tail, which is tails, again, it's, it's pretty much this shape again. So we're just going to draw a line going down here, kind of going across, kind of up like this. Get a little bit of depth by drawing a line going up. And then just going in like that. And then you're going to get a little um, square like right here. And then just for the last part for his tail, it's pretty much this shape. Just a long rectangle going out like that. And then you're going to just draw a line going down the corners here. And then going up. And then over like that. So it's pretty much like his body. Now we could go into his wings here. And basically all you're going to do here is you're going to get a, um, a line going out like here. One going down this way. And then across. And this one will go connect into that. So you get like this kind of like square. But it's kind of like pushed back a little bit. Like on the bottom here. And then what you're going to do is draw lines going off these corners like this. And then go up, and then over, and we could draw the same thing on this side, so we're going to get a line going out here like this, and it's going to curve in, and then over like that, go down on kind of like an angle like this, and then curve in around where the belt is. I'm going to erase the overlap here so it's nice and clear, because this shape would be in front of this one. So I'm just going to draw that in real quick. And now we could draw on his wings um, real easy. What we're going to do is start off with a line going up about here like this. 
And then we're going to just extend this line out like that. And then this line will follow this one and it'll curve in about there. And then you're just getting a line going down here. And then I'll extend in like this. And now um, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to draw this in real light. But we're basically going to get like a shape. And this line can go down here too. Like this. So again it would follow like this square shape. But basically what you're going to do for like the wings. They're kind of like tattered up a little bit in the back here. So what we're going to do is draw a line going down. And then across like this. And then we're going to make it go up. And this doesn't have to be exact. You can kind of just do whatever. You don't have to follow these exact shapes that I'm making. But you can just um, kind of make them tattered. Like just drawing um, kind of like little long like rectangle bars going up and down. Something like that. I'll be a line going down here. And then we're going to give it a little bit of depth by drawing a line going out. And then in. And then on these sides here, we will get a line going up. So you have see one here, see one about here, and see one right here. Like that. Simple enough. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, just this side. So we'll start about here, draw a line going up, extend this line out. And then this line will follow that one, kind of curve in like this. Then we're going to get another one going up and over. Now here we will extend this line out like this. And again, you're going to want to get those bars. So we'll start about here, go across, up, down. Again, there's really no like super correct way to do this. So as long as you're drawing shapes that look similar to this, you should be all right. And then we're going to see a little bit on this side. So we're going to get a line going up there, curve up and over like that. And then here's kind of like where it turns and then we're going to see it from this side. And I think just on this one, like that. And that is pretty much how you draw um, Phantom from Minecraft. Again, not very hard. Again, the Minecraft characters aren't aren't too bad. They're they're pretty much just boxes, um, just on top of boxes. So if you can draw like a really good box, um, you should have no problem uh, drawing these Minecraft characters. So I'm gonna leave Fan the sketch that we just did a Phantom right here. Stay up, please. Thank you. And I'll leave the sketch that, or the drawing that I did beforehand, the inked version, even though they both look kind of clean. Um, so yeah, there you have it. There's uh, both versions of Phantom. On the left you have the inked version I drew beforehand. And on the right you have the pencil sketch that we just did. So um, anyway guys, uh, thank you again. Uh, I'm going to spell your name because I'm not going to pronounce it right. T-A-M-U-N-A. And then second name, B-A-K-R-A-D-Z-E. Thank you so much for the request. Again, sorry I can't pronounce your name. I don't even want to try because I know I'm going to mess it up. But um, if you guys have requests, feel free to leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I'll take your name and what you requested, put it on my how to draw list, and then on Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly pick one off the list. So there's no rhyme or reason. It's just what I feel like doing that day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps me out. And I'll see you for the next one. Okay, thanks, bye. Later.